wonder how cheerleader would look on my resume. Hmm. Anyways, it's a big day. ICX 9.0 is out. We're all really excited. There's a lot of teams internally that have done a ton of work on it and they've really churned out a great product. This is amazing. So this video, as you can see, is going to be really short. I'm going to give you the surface. We're going to do some feature videos. So I want to show off a lot of these new features that are there. But before we do that, let me show you a couple things real quick. So many things where to begin. So let's start with this. 7750 is not supported in 9.0. 8095 and all 95 maintenance releases will still support the 7750, along with a couple other things that are out there. There is a new switch model. It's a 7850-48C. It's the copper model of the 7850 that we have today. 7850 is a beast. You know this thing's going to follow suit. Now, some things that we really need to pay attention to is that in 9.0, campus fabrics are not supported. If you're currently running campus fabrics, you can't run 9.0 in that environment. So now you know. Now, if you're running ICX management within SmartZone or Ruckus Cloud, currently in 9.0, there's no management support for those platforms. However, it's slated in the roadmap to be supported in 9.0.10. That's listed in the release notes. Anything changes, I'll let you know. There's no Armon support. 7150 and 7250s that are stacked in 9 .0, you're limited to stack units of eight. That's it. Uh, HTTPS is on by default. There's some lag interface changes. You can't make changes to the primary ports or the member ports, I guess I should say now. Uh, username and password is required to access the device, so you have to have one. So if you're using any type of AAA, Radius, TACX, create a local username and password. You'll thank me later. All right, so what's new? Some big changes. Logging manager. This is probably going to be our first showcase video. This is all changed. So how ICX is handled logging and your debug logging is all different now. So I want to show you that so that you have an idea of how it works. It's really well done. It's, it's put together very nicely. Uh, we also have a configuration archive and restoral. So the really cool thing about that is we're all human. We make mistakes. Now, if you do, you have a way to roll it back. Go back to where you were. It's awesome. It's like Control Z for an ICX. I think it's great. Uh, the other one is uh, upgrades via USB. You now support a manifest file. So that's pretty slick. And I say this one for last because there is a lot of hype about this. And we will showcase this as well. But we now have REST Comp support in 9.0. So please hold your applause. I know we're all excited, but that's there as well. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I wanted to kind of give you a little taste. The one thing I do want you to do is there's a comment section down there. If you want content put out there for a feature, for a product, for anything, let me know. Within reason, within my capabilities, within what we can put out there, I'll produce it and I'll post it. More than happy to do that for you. That's what I'm here for. So that's it. That's all I had to say. Take care. These videos are always a lot of fun to put together for you, so I was serious. If there's videos you would like to see or content that you're looking for, leave a comment down there. I'd be more than happy to put something together for you. There's a couple of videos over there you can check out. There's a podcast down there you can check out. I'm trying to get you as much information as possible. As always, thanks for watching.